In the aftermath of the Beirut Tayuni massacre of October 14th, Lebanese forces militia leader Samir Jaja was summoned by Lebanon's military court for questioning over a shooting attack on a peaceful demonstration, resulting in the martyrdom of six protesters and one mother of five inside her own house. The summon follows incriminating confessions given by some of the arrested Lebanese forces members, which took the investigation filed into the Tayuni massacre to a whole new level. This development is a serious indication that there is an intention by the Intelligence Directorate to expand the investigation beyond the moment of the outbreak of armed clashes and its aftermath. Intel information revealed that during the interrogation of a number of suspects belonging to the Lebanese forces militia in the Tayuni massacre, testimonies confirmed information that was already in possession of the security services about armed groups affiliated with the Lebanese forces which usually do not make a move except with the knowledge of party leader Samir Jaja and with direct orders from him. The movements of these groups were recorded the night before the events of Tayune in both Ain al-Rimeni and Ashrafiya stronghold areas for Jaja thugs in Beirut. The investigators considered that the detainees' statements led to the suspicion of a pre-planned scheme which began to be implemented the night before the Tayuni ambush. The Directorate of Intelligence and the Military Public Prosecution supervising the investigation put the detainees' statements and the available information in the context of the TV interview that Jaja conducted after the Tayuni incident, in addition to his previous statements, in which an adoption of responsibility was clear on behalf of Jaja concerning the Tayuni attack. Based on this data, Lebanese military court judge Fadi Aqiki asked the intelligence directorate to summon Jaja to the investigation to hear his testimony. What was warlord Jaja's reaction to the court summoning?